Hey guys, what's going on? It is Monster Shark Gaming here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today this is my first ever uh, kind of this video. This is my first ever reaction video. Now, I hate calling it a reaction video, but that's that's what it is. I'm being straightforward. I'm not a huge fan of reaction channels because uh, you just sit there and watch someone else's content and you do all that. But this is something I like to do. I like to talk about... Um, the new UFC games and new WWE games that they're coming out. Mainly, I just do the UFC ones because that's what gets traction on the channels when I talk about these games uh, before they come out. So, instead of just me kind of just, you know, playing with the old game and talking uh, over it and stuff, I thought, you know, today I set up my catcher card, go into the YouTube on my PS4, which I never thought of for some reason, and I'm going to go ahead and watch the official trailer with you guys i'm going to be talking about it you know if you guys haven't seen it yet i'll let you guys watch it real quick and then i'll go ahead and rewind to the beginning and i'll start giving you guys my thoughts about it All right, guys. So that was the tr official trailer for the UFC EA Sports UFC 3 GOAT Career Mode. Now I'm going to go ahead and watch it again with you guys. And it's time to talk about it. So if you look right there, if you go back to the beginning there, there is, you can see we're in the WFA, World Fighting Alliance, like we talked about before. Um... So your career starts off the day the game comes out. I noticed that too. February 2nd, 2018. That's the date the game comes out. Now, if you look back at the past UFC games, they put you like like behind quite a bit, I've noticed. Like, like months behind or like a year behind even maybe or something like that. It's you know, I, I, had, a, I had a problem with that. It's not like the biggest issue, not the biggest thing to complain about. But it's always something I've thought about. So, you know, oh no, the chosen one, Thaddeus Thunder, that's who they created. He comes in here, like his, uh, not UFC debut, but his mixed martial arts debut. Picks up a win, you know, look, boom, UFC Arsenal like, contract. Look at this, first round KO, I'm putting the whole division on notice. Look at that, you're you're tweeting to Dana White personally. They put it on, on Twitter. Th there's a whole, like, Twitter engine I was talking about in one of my videos. You can straight up go on Twitter... Talk some shit to somebody. Hype yourself up a little bit. But right here, look at this. You get contract cash. So depending on what kind of contract you sign, that's a certain amount of payment. And plus winning, you get like, I don't know if it's just straight up 10000 bucks, or if it's depending on your contract, what your win bonus is, or it's simply just double what you you know sign up for. I don't know. And there's promotion bonus, which I have no idea what that means. I'm guessing that's because... um. You know, no, no, no. What, what that's got to be is, like, how you promote yourself. And, you know, from all the promotions, like, people watching your uh, – how many people watch it for you. And that's why you get paid. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? There was a fight hype meter on the side there. Saw the training and stuff. And look at – like, right here. This caught my eye immediately, and I'm really hoping this is because they are bad at promoting or something like that. But, like, he's got 95,000 followers, 160 grand right there. Look, how, look at his record here real quick. Rank number 10, 11-0. Now, 
just by watching the beginning of this video, I was thinking Daddy of Thunder looked like he knocked that guy out in the first round. Had a very, very nice knockout. And then I'm guessing only competed in like one or two more fights and then got signed to the UFC. That's my guess. So let's just say 3-0. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Went 3-0 in WFA. Got signed to a good UFC contract. That would mean he's gone 8-0 and and he's only number 10 in the rankings. And there's also that big $50,000 promotion bonus. That makes me think you don't really move up that well. You know what I mean? Like, again, like they could have just fought you know, lower ranked people. I don't know. I don't know. But like, look, so number 10, he's fighting Jeremy Stevens right there, number eight. And he moves up to number eight. I noticed that immediately. He moved up to number eight in the rankings. That is how it's done. That's how I think it should have been. And then look, he beat number six. He moved up right to number six spot, the guy that he beat. That's how I think the rankings should work. If you beat a guy that's higher than you in the rankings, you guys should straight up switch in the rankings. That's my personal opinion on how it should work. That's why I like that. Now, it seems like that's the actual like rank system they're doing, but I think I don't think this is the actual screen you know that we're gonna see is like a montage of you destroying pe of the people that you beat, and then. The amount of followers you're gaining and the earnings you're gaining during that year or whatever time span it is. I highly doubt that's the case. So I think they're just kind of like showing like highlights of them finishing. And then they're also putting in the official like rankings thing and the followers earning things onto the screen with it. So look at that. He was, if you saw right there, he did move up to number three after defeating the number three guy. So I think the ranking system is good. I, I just don't understand why it took, you know, 14 fights to get to the number three spot. Now, step back, Thunder, at Thunder Thaddeus. You can choose your Twitter handle, I guess. There's more than one contender right now. So, you get a whole new rivalry right here. And, look, you get, like, some things to say in the middle there. So, that's wild. And, look, Frankie Edgar went ahead, got on that amount of guillotine, made him tap out. You see, losing fans right there because you tapped out. Too much media time. Thunder Thaddeus needs a new focus and a new gym. That's Joe Rogan, what Joe Rogan saying on Twitter. And so basically that's saying like, yo, that has been really talking shit on the mic. He's been doing a lot of stuff with the media, taking the social media and stuff like that. This guy needs to get to a new training kit. This guy needs to reinvent himself a little bit. You know, Joe Rogan trying to say, and that's, that's really cool that they give you like advice like that. And look, Megan O'Leary, like when you change fighting camps, Megan O'Leary covers, like, what you do in your, your career. Like, this is fucking awesome. I thought Megan O'Leary was just going to interview you or something. No, this is way fucking better because you already get to, do, you know, you don't get interviewed as far as I know. You don't really get interviewed. Maybe Joe Rogan comes and interviews in America. I don't know. But you fucking just promote yourself. That's what it is. You promote yourself on stage at press conferences and stuff, at the weigh-ins. That's so fucking cool. I love it. Everything about this, I love it. Look at that, boom. What Dana White says, Frankie Edgar injured. Thunder is in on short notice. Look at that. So, like, somebody could get injured, and you could take their place in that title fight, even though you're just coming off of a loss. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. So, like, boom, he comes in, he pulls off the upset, knocks off Ma knocks out Mac Max Holloway. Look at this MMA vlog. Look how clean this, look how good this looks. I, I'm loving it. From the minor leagues to the big leagues, Thunder makes his... Whatever, I don't know what it's supposed to say. And then, boom, look at that. Him and Frankie going at it because Frankie beat him already. Was supposed to get a title shot. Beats him down. Look, McGregor says, bring on the storm. That's going to be a champion versus champion fight. Feather champion. Thaddeus there taking on Conor McGregor. Look at that. Promote, perform. Become the GOAT. I am so excited for this. I am so, so excited for this. I told myself I wasn't going to get hyped for this. Every time I heard something about the career mode, like my, my host would be getting up and up and up. I'm not going to be getting the EA Access because that's not available for PS4. That's Xbox One only. But I will be getting the Champions Edition, so I will be getting the day the game at least three days early. That's definitely happening. So, uh, January, January 30th, I guess that would be then, yeah. January 30th, I plan on doing a midnight stream. Uh... For this game, I plan on doing career mode straight up. I plan on bringing back the interactive event mode 
Um, if you guys were ever here for that for either EA Sports UFC 1 or EA Sports UFC 2. Um, if you weren't, well, I'll explain that in the future. But that was a lot of fun. People enjoyed it. It's just the game's AI was bad. And I ended up watching uh, the AI play in the UFC 3 beta. And if it stays pretty similar um, in the full game, then I think it's going to fucking be a big hit on Twitch, people. It... The AI is definitely a lot better this time around, and I'm very, very excited to be uh, trying that out again. It's a lot of work for me, but uh, it, it's something that I really enjoy doing. So, make sure you guys watch out on my YouTube channel. Um, they do plan on bringing out some more GOAT career mode stuff um, for us here. Uh, this week and they're gonna touch up on the women's career mode a little bit. I don't know if it's anything significant about like specifically being women on there or I don't have to give you much different in that sense, but They're gonna touch up something on there. I'm sure they're gonna go uh, Into like how career mode ends or something like that or how your career can end something along those lines, but yeah, February 2nd is the official release date. If you guys get it with, uh, if you guys get the Champions Edition, you get it three days early. And I believe you get it f even five days earlier before that. So, like, January 30th, if you get the Champions Edition, if you have EA Access for Xbox One, uh, you get it five days earlier than that. So, that'd be, like, January 25th. You could get the game. That's pretty fucking wild. That's pretty goddamn wild. If you, So, like, if you were, if you never had... Uh, EA Access before you can get like a free trial because I've gotten a free trial before. I think it's like a week or two weeks, and boom, you just go ahead and get the game like <laughs> a lot earlier um, if you have an Xbox One, of course. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already. Also, subscribe here on Twitch. Subscribe on uh, subscribe here on YouTube. My bad, and then also subscribe on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch. Uh, support me on Patreon, follow me on Twitter, join my Discord, all that stuff should be in the, t uh, the description below, and let me know what you guys think about this trailer, oh my god, oh, I'm so, so excited for this, I can't wait to just start talking shit, who the fuck is this guy, like, you know, just, oh, I cannot wait, cannot wait, alright guys, do all that good stuff, and see you next time, goodbye.